people have fun and we'll get going. So just starting with your arms at the side, we're going to do some over the head breathing circles. So taking your arms up to the side, all the way over the head if you can, controlling your arms down. If you prefer or can take them just up to shoulder height, that's great. Or to any level that you can take, whether it's between your knees and your shoulders or up to shoulder height. So we're going to do a few more. Remember to control the arms up. And control them down. And shrugs. Shrug and press. Shrug and press away. We're warming up, starting slowly. Press. The pressing towards the floor is as important or more important than the shrugs. Four. Three. Two. And one. And just nice and easy. Roll your shoulders back one at a time. Full range of motion if you can. That means just take your shoulder through this roll back as much as you can. Four, three, two, and one. Now both shoulders. Up, press, down, and around. Just warming up. Four. Three, two, and one, and just a control move from the shoulder if you can. If you're more comfortable keeping your arms somewhere between your knees and your shoulders, feel free. So show me the back of your hand and the front of your hand. Four, three, two, and one, and hold your arms out, shoulder height, or where you feel comfortable, and just press your hands up and stretch out your forearms, and press your arms down, press the arms up, Press the hands down, hands up, hands down, and slowly roll your arms down to the side. Four, three, two, and one, and cross country ski. Get those arms swinging. A few more, and then we're going to roll into alternating arm bicep curls. I'll show you what I mean. And with each consecutive class, you'll get familiar with the terminology and the different moves that we'll typically do. Four, three, two, and one. Roll it up. Elbows are low. One arm at a time. Bending and straightening. Working on biceps and triceps. Bending and straightening. Remember, don't worry about keeping up with me or the music. If you can, try to completely straighten your arms out. It's a very nice bicep stretch. Visualize you have dumbbells in each hand. Try to imagine the resistance. Might help with you working on technique. And elevate.
elevate the elbows as high as you can within your comfort range. Fully straightening or fully extending the arms up top if you can. And lowering the elbows down. Getting ready for forward and side, still bending and straightening in four. each class, if you need to take a break, it's best not to come to a complete stop unless you really need to. So you can do a bit of a moving break, shaking your arms out, and I'll show you what that looks like when we take a moving break together. Four, three, two, one. Now we've lost our music, so it's a technical difficulty, but we can keep working on the class. Oh, and the music's back on. It's amazing what the power of the mind can do. So pressing to the floor, oh, there it goes again. So we're still bending and straightening. Keep it low, just shoulder height. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and up. Five, six, seven, eight, and down. And up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and keep it low and shake it out. This is an example of a moving break that you can take. If we're doing an exercise and you feel the need for a break, just shake it out, keep it low. Okay, and bounce. Visualizing you have basketballs in each hand, you really want to get a good bounce because you don't want to let those basketballs get away. Bouncing as you try to reach beyond your knees and behind your chair. Four, three, two, and one. And still bouncing. One arm forward, one arm back with a double bounce. Don't let those basketballs get away. Getting ready to roll, and I'll show you what I mean by that. And row. So pretend you're in a rowboat. You grab the oars. You're going upstream in white water, so you want to really work. Squeezing the shoulder blades together, it's a great posture move. You can keep your hands low you can hold the oars a little bit higher. And the higher up you hold the oars, higher up the back muscles you'll be working. Feel free to keep it low, just skimming your knees. Get ready for jumping jacks. I'll show you what I mean. Your chair doesn't have to leave the floor. Four, three, two, one, and cross. Reach it up. Keep it low, like football goal poles. Just keep it shoulder height or lower. Otherwise, take it over the head. A few more, good work. The higher our arms get, the harder the exercise is. But just take it slow, go at your own pace, especially in the early classes. Four. Now we cross, press it out, one arm at a time. Cross, press, press. Now
now just alternating arm chest press. So one arm at a time, a little bit easier than double arm. Just pressing out forward shoulder height, or you can press anywhere you feel comfortable between the knee and the shoulder levels. Getting ready for double arm chest press. Watch your balance. Sometimes it helps to tighten up your middle, if you can, for stability. And your choice, you can continue to alternate arm or do double arm. Four. Watch your balance. Double long arm or alternating your choice, don't forget. Watching your balance, hanging on to your chair with the arm that's down. And you can just take it to the range that you feel comfortable and are able to do. Okay, in a moment we're going to do what I call low forward crossovers. In four. Extend your arm out as straight as you can, shoulder height, or lower where you feel comfortable, and just pull your arm across your body. And then just karate chop the air as you bring your arms down, dusting off your kneecaps. We're going to go from low to high, back to low, taking it as high as you can within your comfort and ability levels. So karate chop the air as you bring your arm up. When your arms are over the shoulder, I want you to always make sure you can see the back of your hand in front of you. It's not a back stroke and it's important that we make sure that we do this so that we don't hurt our shoulders. And karate chop the air as we bring it down. Dusting off the kneecaps. We'll repeat that one more time. Remember, you're just taking your arms up as, as high as you feel comfortable. Bringing them back up. Bringing it back down. Keeping it low. Getting ready for what I call the sweet pull and reach. Watch your balance. In four, three, two, and one. So we sweep, pull it away, over the head and down. Sweep and pull, over and down. You can take your arm just up to the side and down or taking it over the head. Please make sure you hold on with the hand that is down to the side. Sweep and pull. Oh, and down. Sweep and pull. Over and down. A few more. Go at your own pace. this 
gives us a little bit of a moving break as well. training arm press stroke. In four, three, two, and one, and swim. So arms are raised up shoulder height if you can, or anywhere you feel comfortable between your knees and your ear shoulders. Imagine the resistance of the water as you push your arms through, pushing the water all the way behind you. If you feel the need for a break and take some water, feel free. Probably a good idea to have some water close to you at the start of each class. Four. called washing the windows, reaching way up, getting all the fingerprints. It is not a backstroke. Your hand is in front of you at all times, and you can just keep it low, or reach. We're going to do an alternating move where we go, low, low, reach, and reach, low, low, reach it up. Shake it out. You deserve it. Good work. You can do a repositioning. Shifting your weight. Taking a weight relief. Always very important. Now double arm shake out or you can dance. Keeping your arms low. Working out any little bit of muscle burn that you may be developing. So muscle discomfort is common with exercise, but if you're feeling discomfort or pain in joints, stop the exercise and make sure you let our study coordinator know. And jog. With the jog, you can sit still and just move your arms. You can get your trunk involved. Depending on your balance and ability, you can lean into it. Or just sit comfortably against the back of your chair and jog. Extending the arms out, bringing them in. Four, three, two, one, and shake it out. Exercise, as I call bow and arrow or pulling up the sleeve. I'll show you what I mean. Feel free to just keep bouncing it out or take a moving break and shake it out if this one is a little bit too challenging to the balance. In four, three, two, one. You can adapt it by keeping your arms short. Okay. 
over the head only if you feel that your shoulders and balance can accommodate it. Otherwise, keep it low or bounce it out. Four, three, two, and one. And bounce.
ready for low forward crossovers again, as we did earlier in the class. Four, three, two, and one. Arm shoulder height, or somewhere between your knee and your shoulder. about a 90 degree angle. Still pulling across the body, bringing it low. And back down. And just slowing it down. Hang on with one hand. Just going down to the side. Always focus on posture, so you're trying to keep your head on top of your shoulders, your shoulders over your hips. And just reaching as if you're reaching to the floor, but I certainly don't expect you to reach it. Four. Three. Two. And one. And pressing it out to the side. You can sit stationary and press it to the side. If you would like to press it somewhere between your knees and your shoulders. Or you can lean into the press, watching your balance. Alternating arm chest press like we did earlier in the class. Four, three, two, and one. Reaching it up to the side or keeping it low out front. We made it, everybody. Now we're cooling down. Do a position change, a pressure relief, very important. And just nice and easy, shifting your weight back and forth. Never ignoring posture. So trying to keep your head on top of your shoulders, and you might ask, where else would my head be? I just don't want you to have your neck sort of extending out, which puts a lot of pressure on your neck and back of your shoulders. And if you can keep your shoulders over top of your hips. And just shifting back and forth. Good work. We'll be lower and slower from here on in. Four. Three. Two. And one. And just coming forward one shoulder at a time, hanging on with both hands. Stretching out our upper back, which we worked a lot today. Four. Three. Two. And one. And slowly rolling one shoulder at a time, doing a back shoulder roll like we did in the warm-up. Working out any kinks and any muscle burn that might have developed during the class. Remember to report any joint pain that's temporary or ongoing that you think may be related to the exercises classes. Both shoulders up, back, down, and round. Full range. Four, three, two, 
two, and one, and from the shoulder. Remember, it can be anywhere between your knees and your shoulders. Four. Three. Two. And one. Arms up to the side, shoulder height, or wherever you feel com comfortable. Pressing your hands up, stretching out the forearms again as we did in the warm up. Pressing the hands down, hands up, hands down, slowly rolling your arms down to the side. And now you're just swinging your arms around your waist. You can swing around your waist or you can do alternating arm um, cross country skiing. Four, three, get ready for sweep, pull, and reach, but we're going to hold the stretch over the head. I'll show what I mean. Four, three, two, and one, and we sweep, we pull it away, we stretch it over the head, but now we hold that stretch. Remember the hand is in front of us, or your arm may be lower down, and down again. We sweep. We pull it away and stretch with our hands slightly in front of us, either over the head or lower. And down. Two more each side. This is one. And hold that stretch. And down. Number one, other side. And down. Number two. Last one, the stretch. And down. Now, depending on your balance, take one arm by either the wrist, forearm, or elbow, and just gently pull one arm across your body, being very careful not to overstretch. And if you lose your balance, make sure you let go. Shake it out. Same thing other side, taking the arm by the wrist, hand, forearm, being careful not to overstretch. Shake it out. One more each side. Shake it out. One more this, this stretch. Shake it out. Good work. Arm out, palm in. Without twisting your body, take your arm out and back. Press the hand back. And down. Same thing, other side. Press the hand back. And down. One more each side. Last one, the stretch. And down. Okay, keeping your shoulders where they are. We don't want to shrug. Just take ear to shoulder. And just do a very slow, gentle yes nod. Other side. Head up, chin to chest. Head up, 
And again, chin to chest. Head up. Now to stretch out the big muscle that sort of sits on top of the shoulder that can get really tight if you spend most of your day in a wheelchair or pushing a walker, pressing your hand towards the floor. And the press into the floor is very important. Look part way over the other shoulder and tip your chin to the floor. Shake that out. Press to the floor. Look part way over the other shoulder. And tip your chin to the floor. Shake that out. We're going to do one more each side this stretch. Shake that out. Last one this stretch. And shake it out. We've run out of music, but not stretches. Elevate the arm over the head if you can. Reaching for the opposite shoulder blade, looking towards the front of the room, and press that elbow back. Excellent tricep stretch. Watch your balance. And down, same thing other side. Reach up, reach for the opposite shoulder blade, looking forward, press the elbow back. One more each side this stretch. Reach, back, Head up, elbow back, and if you'd like, watch your balance just to facilitate the stretch a bit. Just a gentle lean to the side if you can, making sure you keep that elbow back. And up, last one. Elbow goes back, gentle lean to the side, keeping your elbow back. And up. Okay, we've made it everybody. Over the head breathing circles for three. Sort of a, a meditation and a cool down and focusing on breathing, which we often don't concentrate on doing deeply enough. So for three, we're going to take the arms up over the head or up to shoulder height or as high as you can, breathing in through the nose and filling up your lungs. And as we control our arms down, breathing out through the mouth for three. One... Breathing in through the nose as you fill up your lungs completely. Two, breathing in through the nose, filling up your lungs as you elevate your arms as high as you can. And last one, three, breathing in through the nose. Filling up your lungs and control the arms down as you breathe out through your mouth. Good class, everybody. Good work, and we'll see you next time.